Hey, we've got Hobo Shoestring. He is taking his Samsung Galaxy uh, S200, S20 to be looked at. He believes he has a setting in the wrong position and the quality of his video isn't any good. Uh, anyway, he's out on the road. And uh, so uh, we'll be looking forward to his new videos. So I want to wish happy birthday to uh, Maximal's Minibus Mary 60 today. And she does a touching video uh, there of uh, going through her mom's house. She has moved her mom into assisted living to better care for her. And now the old family house where she spent a lot of years growing up is empty. And she's very nostalgic about it. And she has a very nice video. Check it out. Happy birthday to me, Maximal's Minibus Mary, uh, right there on uh, the big YouTube machine. Good buddy Ziggy there. There he is. See Ziggy there? He is uh, taking a trip up here on the East Coast going up to Pennsylvania to finally get that car moved over to... He's going to be... He's going to be... He's hauling a car from a friend's in Pennsylvania all the way up to California. And he's leaving Louisiana, and he's up in Georgia today, and then he's going up to Virginia, and then he's going to be in Pennsylvania, I guess, day after tomorrow. So, uh, Ziggy, a uh, safe trip. Check out his new video. Adventure Fan Man up there in Canada. He has crossed the border with his girlfriend, Kelly, and uh, they are in uh, New Brunswick. I hope they meet. Hi. I hope they meet and say hi to uh, Slim Potato Head. we got some customers that want to come back here, check out the cheap records. So I'm going to have to turn this over to Dave and take care of some letters for you right now. So Dave, take it away. Letters, 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 letters. Chasen70 says enough of this Brian BS. Even if they catch him, nothing is going to happen other than a charge for credit card theft. That's it. He's not going to talk nothing. Give it up. Uh, uh, P by Pinkerton says, where are the photos of all those Brian sightings? And we get all these uh, chart, uh, all these alleged Brian sightings all over the place here in Western North Carolina. But not one person has ever flipped, taken their phone out and taken a picture of the alleged Brian sighting. Yeah, every everybody's got a f camera, right? Even those old flip phones says bye. He moves says he is busy looking for Brian up there in the Pacific Northwest. I'm sure he'd like to camp out in the rain for the next five count him five months of rain. I don't know, man. Pepping says that this, as I said, dog is reinventing himself and saving his career. At this point, he is successful. You know, yes, he uh, he is basically reinventing himself, and and he's already said to TMZ that he's already got a whole bunch of offers for a new show there on cable TV, right? Hodaka says the hunt for Gabby's killer has morphed into the dog for bounty hunter show. Yeah. He sales says they need to put that dirty laundry through a double wash extra bleach. Whoa. Harry says uh, Brian was obviously not vaxxed or they would have found him in five minutes. That's what I heard on Fox anyway. I guess he'd be in the big database, right? Where they can now track you, right? Yeah, right. Postal Kev doesn't believe uh, Batty Van Halen and the big dog attack. I don't know. I'm calling his, I'm calling BS on the dog attack. A, ta a tall tale for views, no video or pictures or witnesses, tells the cops not to come because the dog owner left, no hospital record, we've seen this before, nice, friendly nomad starts, spinning tales for views, you know, again, with all these things, we see this all the time with nomads, they got cameras everywhere, they got their phones with them all the time, and we never get footage, if, if, if Maddie had actually taken footage, no, I get it, you know, you're really stunned, and you're not expecting this thing to happen, and by the time it's over, you've already forgotten to get your camera out. I've had happened to me and some stuff, but uh, you'll see something and then, darn, I wish I had filmed that. But, you know, if Maddie had gotten the camera out and filmed the dog allegedly attacking him, that would have been a lot of views, I'm telling you. Memo to all you YouTubers out there, carry the camera with you at all time and have it ready and maybe even having it running at all time so that when something does happen, you know, get like a helmet cam, a helmet cam and have it running all the time so that, you know, 24-7 so that when something happens, you're, you've got it. So Benny says that some of his sources say that Brian is going to Panda Land. Or we can't say that. It's Panda Property. And that and that he did... He didn't call ahead for permission. Okay. Uh, the weather bearer says, I'm sure Brian is going to California. He was at, he allegedly asked that a man who saw him there up in the North Carolina mountains that he wanted directions to California on some back roads. I'm sure he's going to California because the weather is great all year round and he would blend in with the homeless. Butterfly says, who pays dog? That's a good question. I don't know. How do you think dog makes his earn, makes his living these days? You know, selling his stories to the media? I mean, I don't know. That's a good question if you know let me know in the comments below do see dog kind of giving exclusive interviews to the Murdochian media which is fox news and the new york post so you know he may they may have a deal with him you know and maybe we'll see a uh, a uh, 
a new ba- Dog the Bounty Hunter show coming up on the Fox TV network, which is also in the Murdochian fold, right? Talking about braiding my beard, Sarah Cox says nothing personable, personal, but do you even know how to braid? <laughs> Have you ever noticed how Carlos Santano's fingers, his braid fingers are three feet long? Yeah. I mean, I can basically do it but i'm not really professional at braiding no uh come fight con fighter says braid your beard with a few beads in it and get a teardrop tat by your eye yeah that's the look anna says put dark headlights in your beard and eyebrows like in your retro videos you know i'm why am I doing this? I don't know. Why am I bouncing back and forth like this? I'm like I'm on a boat. Ballard says, no, check out Little House on the Grid, Off Grid Rob. He says, the Vice President Kamala Harris is ending tiny houses. I refuse to click on that garbage. It's your job, so let us know. Yeah, yeah, I, I did see that, right? It was on uh, Fox News last night. Uh, Kamala Harris says, no more tiny houses. Yeah. Come on, Rob, you can think of better clickbait than that. RB says I should braid my mustache to my beard. <laughs> About braiding my beard, Papa Texas says, no! Hey, don't forget, the Papa Texas Camo Day breakfast there, Saturday of Lollapalooza there in late October. What's it, like the 23rd or something like that? Yeah, be there or be square. Uh, the weather is something rather. Remember when Derek dyed his beard? LOL, don't do that either. I'm going to dye it some color for Halloween, either orange or green. Let me know in the comments below. We'll have to take a vote. I'll put up a, a poll. We'll take a vote on what color, orange, green, or purple. From Arizona says, I should braid my beard like Blackbeard and have smoke coming out of your eyes. <laughs> ah, jeez. I don't vape. But you could do that. I've seen, you see people that do that, they vape and then the smoke comes out their eyes. It's kind of weird. That's, that can't be good for you. Folks, thanks for watching Letters and More right here on the Camo Dave channel for the 5th of October 2021. Vlog under.